Welcome back to the elevator. It's Tai Chi Tuesday. My name is Mallory. Welcome. Yeah, those are celebrity flip flops. So according to my phone slash Fitbit, I got barely like just shy of an hour, like two hours of sleep last night. And I said to myself, that can't be right. Because I was watching one of my favorite TV shows on Netflix called Wentworth. Some of you may have heard of it. It's a prison show. It was recommended to me after one of the seasons of Orange is New Black ended. Whew. So, I wa like I didn't realize season seven was out. I'm like, ooh, it finished Orange you know, in three days. I don't like keep having to brag about that. Um, whenever it came out. And so it's been a minute. I mean, I saw the other night, or day, I can't remember, that it said new episodes. I was like, that can't be. Turns out I was right. So I watched one last night, but it's like a heavy show. And I'm like, I just can't go to bed after watching that. So I had to watch something lighthearted. So I watched the YouTube video. One turned into two, two turned into three. And then I went to bed. But when I, my show ended on Netflix, it was like 3.40. So maybe by the time I went to bed, it was the time that my phone says. So I'm walking, making my way to Tai Chi, tired not feeling the greatest. Got some news that's slightly upsetting. Don't know what's gonna happen with it. So, I just feel a little like, a little, like I just wanna crawl back into bed and cry and like go back to sleep. That's how I feel. But we're gonna trudge on through, do Tai Chi for an hour, then go home where I can then, if I want to still cry, do that and almost likely take a nap today. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's 9.56, Tai Chi starts at 10. So I should put a little more like pick up in my step, if that's a saying. But I am so tired, I feel like my feet are dragging themselves. So, see y'all later. So, it was 11.08. Honestly, and I don't know if it's because I'm so tired. <clears throat> I got up around like 8.20ish. Um, and I'll tell you something. It feels like I've been awake forever. Ooh, mushroom. So, the fact that it's only 11, I'm like, wow, I got a whole day ahead of me. But I feel very tired. So, I mean, definitely. This is a little awkward, people. What the hell is that sound like a freaky? You know, um, a nap in my future because I am like toast. But I just remembered I'm about to cross the Jay, look every direction. Um, <clears throat> I'm so tired. I can't even think straight. Um, also, it's like a very hot out. That's also like draining my energy. But, um, so when my trainer was asking us, there's just two of us today, what we had going on, I was like, oh, shoot, I do have something. I think it's at one o'clock. So we'll see. 
I might have to be like, cause I, this is like a Zoom call. I don't know if any of y'all have ever done one of those before, but I've like missed a lot of them. Cause either I've taken a nap and slept through for being honest, or like I had a doctor's appointment or my mom had something. Like there's just some like stuff going on in life that's like prohibited me from doing these Zoom calls or I accidentally missed them whether it's I slept through or I just missed the memo all together. And uh, I don't know how, like I have until this program that I'm doing with these Zoom calls. I think my program ends on the 15th of next month. So I'm just like working it out, but I'm a little behind on like my homework, if you will. So, I was like starting to do the last lesson that I received through email and um, it was working because it's like unlisted YouTube videos and you listen, follow along, do exercises, etc, etc. Or it's just like meditations and um, it kind of like, I don't know what the hell happened to it. It wasn't working. It disappeared sort of. Also, all the tabs I had open on my phone went away, and I was so upset and, like, a little pissed. And I still am, because I had all these, like, things that were important saved. Like, where did they all go? Just, like, after a certain time, did they just get, like, erased? Who knows? But I'm almost to my door, and I need to dig out my key, go inside, cool off. Um... I feel like there's something else I was gonna say. I need to like, so yesterday, I did like, I took a nice bath and I did like clean up, but I didn't wash my hair or anything because I didn't wanna go to bed with wet hair. So I was like, I'll just shower today and wash my hair. But now I'm pretty darn sweaty. So I might need to like wash everything. <sighs> Do that, nap. There's a weird, not so good smell coming up from over there. And I gotta dig my key out. And have my lunch. And if I'm not doing this Zoom call thing, I need to think about it for a minute. But if I'm not, I need to let them know, common courtesy. Like, sorry, not today. Where is my keys? I hear them. Ooh. This one, I think I have them. I didn't. Pulling up or pulling out all my business. I have some business cards in my bag. Oh my god. bad as if I just did a workout but it was I got asked to lead a meditation and I was like don't put me on the spot but I'll think about it maybe next time <sighs> now that I have a fear of public speaking it's just when you put me on the spot like that like what how did you do I think when you last saw me I was on an elevator um since then I was working on some stuff, had lunch, I went for a walk, I walked to the gym, and then I was gonna kinda like keep, I thought about filming it, but instead I was listening to music on my headphones that are falling apart. Look at this. I've had these particular ones for four years, maybe? Um, I got them at the... What, 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 where was I? It was the um, Dallas-Fort Worth uh, airport. 
because my purple ones were like my purple um beat headphones that were not uh bluetooth they had like fell apart at the seams and i needed headphones got these and i don't know what happened to them that's that's my little long explanation about my headphones <laughs> um so i finally got a small little little tiny tour of the spa here um because my trainer was like you ever been there i said no but i've been thinking about it a lot recently so i was like i'll show you because you had to go lock it up so i just kind of saw like the little waiting room area where you go for facials probably waxings body scrubs exfoliations maybe massage but, like a multi-purpose room because there's a shower in there i'm like why would there be a shower you don't need to take a shower after you get your eyebrows waxed or um Te technically you don't have to shower after a massage i always do because i feel so like slick and greasy um however if you were like covered in mud or seaweed or had an exfoliant on you i could see you would need to rinse that off and it looked like there was an upstairs it probably had like more rooms for things um so it was a nice little little spa so I got the info, and I guess depending on what kind of service you want, um, you can text or call. You just say, hey, I'm so-and-so. I live here. This is what I'd like to do. And you set yourself up an appointment. What's weird, or what I think is weird? I mean, if I could, like, fill out a, suggest a suggestion box. <laughs> like, they offer waxing services. They do eyebrow waxing, which I need desperately. They do like an upper lip, your chin, maybe like a full face. Like that whole like shave your face, ladies, and like get rid of the peach fuzz. Like I've just learned to embrace my peach fuzz. I was a little self-conscious and petting who self-conscious about it like in high school. And I was like, what would happen if you just waxed my full face? It's like, just better just leave it alone. I think I was kind of advised to just leave it alone. So since it can't be seen from space, I'll leave it alone. Um, but you think because it's Florida that they'd offer like leg waxing and like other things because it's Florida and we wear shorts and tank tops and things all year round, but this, they don't. And I'm like, I'm surprised no one's really asked for that. I'm probably the first to like inquire maybe. I really have no idea. Um, and then, uh, when I got there, the to the gym, I I I'm just assuming, but I call her my trainer's boss. I don't really know, like, the relation there. Like, I know like maybe like supervisor. Like it's definitely higher up. Um, so she was like, oh, she was thanking me for helping them out because they're going to be doing a meditation class. And I wrote a nice description for the flyers for that. So I got a thank you from her, which was very nice. And so they're working on putting that together, figuring it all out. So can't wait to give that a try. So I was literally like at the gym for what felt like forever. What time is it? It's 3.40 and I got back a little bit before 3.30, like 3.23, um, when I last checked to see what time it was. <laughs> and I left the house, let's see, I had a late lunch, that was around like 1.20ish perhaps. I was trying to get to, like, when I got to the gym it was almost 2 o'clock. I'd have to ask my mom how long it felt like I was gone for because on the one hand, it felt like I was gone for like ages, but on the other, it felt like I was there and gone in a blink of an eye. So, anywho, tonight I have a class. Well, my mom and I have a class. So, um, 
That's what's on the agenda for this evening is figuring out what we're doing for dinner and then going to our class and having fun and learning unique, interesting things. And yeah, so it's been a really good Tuesday. Thanks for watching this. I'm going to go record some meditations and things for my second channel. And as always, till next time, keep it quirky.